John Adams, head coach of the Nottingham North Stars, joins us here for the Nottingham Training Camp Reports on WBCB1490.com, presented by the St. Francis Medical Center and Haldeman Ford Subaru. John, I remember around this time last year, you were talking about how talented your younger players were. You were just worried you couldn't get them an opportunity because you had so many seniors. Well, now those young, talented guys are kind of taking over this team. What have you seen so far? Well, I see uh, three areas of concern right now, and I've addressed this from day one with the kids actually go back to um, uh, before we even started 7-on-7 seven seven in our mini camp, and that is our level of immaturity because um, we got some talented boys, yes, who could do some explosive things, but uh, they're a little uh, green as far as uh, understanding uh, what it is that is expected of them as a North Star football player. So uh, we have to kind of chip away at some of that, uh, make it them to buy into the team concept, um, understand our, our team policies and rules. Um, they, they work hard, man. Uh, you know, I, I, I have not had to stop practice and yell at them uh, about their effort. Right. They give great effort. The, but the maturity factor uh, could cost us down the road, say, if something happens during the course of a game with a, a silly penalty, something like that. Um, and then, of course, our conditioning level pre-camp was not very good. We've worked very hard uh, on increasing our conditioning, and the kids are working hard, again, giving great effort in that area. Um, and then the last one, of course, is the experience factor, which is the job of these coaches to get them as much experience as possible. And I feel we've done a pretty good job. Um, you know, we have uh, four scrimmages against some talented football teams. We go to Southern Regional tomorrow to see them in Lakewood, who uh, both are pl uh, perennial uh, playoff teams. Um, and uh, we just scrimmaged Northern Burlington, another playoff team, and then we have two prep schools in Petty and Hunt. So we, uh, we feel we'll be uh, prepared. Uh, just got to keep everybody healthy. We're a little, uh, little worried about our, our depth at uh, certain positions. Guys like Mackenzie Henry, JPL, guys who were here were part of that team that won the Group 3 championship. How essential have they been to getting players to buy into that team concept you uh, talk they're, about? They're, they're, our, they're our leaders. Um, I think the boys know that um, because they were there. Uh, they, they actually, again, were on the field. Uh, McKenzie was a starter. JPL at that point was a, a special teamer and a second teamer. Played a lot, though, uh, uh, as, a, as a sophomore. Um, and, of course, McKenzie started the guard, the only sophomore to start on that team. Uh, you know, so their, their leadership has been uh, paramount um, to helping the younger guys understand what it takes to win football games. Quarterback, last year, past couple of years, you've had guys like Asaya Obato, Luke Westerberg, your son, Steven Adams. So you've had a great lineage. Who are some of the guys we can expect to see at that position this year? Well, right now it's a battle between um, Alex Episcopo and Michael Malagrino. Uh, Alex is a, a junior. Um, Last year, uh, he played some quarterback, but was uh, subbing at tight end a little bit. Um, and then Michael was our JV quarterback um, and did a tremendous job as a freshman playing JV. He was undefeated uh, in, his, uh, in his inaugural season uh, on the JV. So uh, both guys are competing right now. Michael actually is a little sick today, so we're keeping him out. Um, you know, because we got a big scrimmage tomorrow. We want to uh, get a good evaluation on both guys. Both guys have improved dramatically. Um, and are hard workers, and, and I like their attitudes. Coach, you're, you're an offensive guy. You like to get out and sling it, but this team really prides itself on being hard and hitting, kind of punch you in the mouth type team, too. Just in the half hour or so I've seen in practice here, it seems like that defense is ready to get after it this year. Uh, our defense is not as uh, deep or as talented as it was in 2012, but I assure you, we are going to be a very good defensive football team, and we're going to play to our strength. Um, <laughs> We are not going to be dumb and just slinging around with two inexperienced quarterbacks. We're going to play behind our same philosophy we had in 2012. We're out of that spread stuff back in the eye where we should have never left. But, uh, you know, you try to appease people and, uh, you know, get, 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 you have a lot of talent and try to try something new. And, and, and we got burned last year. Should have stayed in the eye, but that's a story for another day. Can't correct history. We just got to. Uh, go back to our roots, and, and we're back in the eye, and we're going to run the football, and uh, we're gonna, I think we're going to make some noise this year as long as we stay healthy. John Adams, thanks so much. Best of luck this season.